Welcome to the sixth video of chapter 8, which is day 10, covering common logs. You will notice that for today's video, you definitely need a calculator. You cannot do today's problems without a calculator. We have two objectives. First one is to evaluate log expressions using the change of base formula. And then the second one is to solve exponential equations using common logs. So the title of this section is Common Logarithms. So we should probably talk about what exactly is a common logarithm. Well, a common logarithm is a log with base 10. So it's like log base 10 of x. This is a common log. The base is 10. One thing to know is that they are normally written without the 10. So that log base 10 of x is normally written as log of x. So if there's no base written, it's understood to be a 10. So if no base is written, the base is understood be a 10. So if you look at the two examples, it says evaluate using a calculator log base 5 and or log of 5 and log of 0 0.3. Log of 5, there's no base written. This is really understood to be log base 10 of 5. We just don't really write that log base 10. We, we don't really write the base is 10 because it's a logarithm that we see a lot. Now this you can do on the calculator. The log button is right to the left of button 7. So at the top, the log is going to be this little button right here, right next to 7. You can put log of 5, and your parentheses, and hit enter, and you should get 0 0.69897. So that would be log of 5. Log of 0 0.3, same thing, hit the same button, log of 0.3, and your parentheses, and you get negative 0 0.5229. That's log of 0 0.3. Again, the base isn't written, so it's understood to be 10. This is really log base 10 of 0 0.3. So anytime we don't write the base, base is understood to be a 10. Now the way that we're going to use this is we're going to solve equations uh, using these common logs. So we're going to look at example number 2. It says solve 4 to the x equals 19. Now normally in a problem like this, we would attempt to get both sides of the equation in terms of the same base. So we would try to get something like 4 to the x equals 4 squared, because the bases were the same, I could say x equals 2. Now because that's just an example, I'm going to cross it out so we don't confuse ourselves. So with example 2, that's normally how we would start. 4, I could rewrite as 2 squared, but 19 I can't rewrite. So it's not possible for me to get the same base on both sides. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log of both sides. So I'm going to take the log of 4 to the x, and then I'm going to take the log of 19. Now, initially this looks like it just got worse. It doesn't look like it helps us, but let's keep going. Because x is an exponent, it comes out in front. So I have x times log of 4 equals log of 19. Now, you notice that I haven't written a base in. So I haven't written in a little number next to the log. If I don't write a base, it means that the base is 10. Again, this is the common log section, so we're going to be using log base 10 a lot. Now what's nice about this is I can now divide by log of 4. So I get x equals log of 19 divided by log of 4. And then I could do this in the calculator. I would do hit the log button, again, which is next to the 7. Log of 19, make sure you end the parentheses after the 19, divided by log of 7, or log of 4 I mean. And again, make sure you end the parentheses after the 4. When I do that, I get x equals 2.1240. Uh, 
Um, generally, we round to four decimal places when it comes to logs. And that's it. Not too bad. If you can write both sides in terms of the same base, like 4 to the x equals 4 squared, that's great. If not, you could take the log of both sides. So we're going to look at another example where we can do something similar. But before we do that, we do have a quick trivia question. Did you know that the abbreviation for O'Hare Airport is ORD? My question is, why is that the case? Where did they get the D from? So think on that if you know, and I'll tell you at the end of the video. Example number three says 3 to the power x minus 2 equals 15. Now, I can't write 3 or 15 in terms of the same base. So I can't get 3 to the power x minus 2 equals 3 squared, or 3 to the fourth. There's no way to get the right side of the equation to be in terms of 3 to some power. You know, it's not going to be 3 squared, or 3 to the third, or 3 to the fourth. So because of that, I'm going to take the log of both sides. I have the log of 3 to the power x minus 2 equals log of 15. Now, I didn't write a base, so again, this is log base 10, which is really common. That's why it's called a common log. That's why it's on our calculator. It comes up a lot with that log base 10, which is why we choose the log base 10, because our calculator has it. Now, the reason that this is helpful is x minus 2 is an exponent, so it can come out in front. I'm going to be careful so that all of it comes out in front, so I'm going to keep it in parentheses. I have x minus 2 times log of 3 equals log of 15. Now ultimately, I want to solve for x. Right now, x is on the same side as a 2 and a log 3, so I need to get rid of those. I'm going to start by dividing both sides by log of 3. So now I have x minus 2 is equal to the log of 15 over log of 3. Again, I just want x, so I'm going to add 2 to both sides. I have x equals log of 15 divided by log of 3 plus 2. So on my calculator, I need to do that log of 15 divided by log of 3 get that answer, which it ends up being 2.4650 after rounding, and then I add 2. So do the logs and then add 2 at the end. So my x value ends up being 4.4650. That's it. So it's a little more complicated this time because there was an x minus 2 in the exponent instead of just a plain x. But again, take the log of both sides and solve for x. Okay, now we're at the point for you to try one on your own. Um, so example four is yours to try on your own. Pause the video, try this one, and I will come back when you are finished. Okay, let's see how we did. I will tell you the answer that you should have gotten is plus or minus 1.4443. If you got that, great job. If you didn't, we should probably be able to get to that at some point. So let's go over right now how to get that answer. Now I have 6 on the left side and I have 42 on the right side. There's no way to rewrite those to be in terms of the same base. 6 is 2 times 3. So it's not even um, a power of some type. 42 is 6 times 7. Again, it's not a power. So instead, I'm going to start by taking the log of both sides. I have the log of 6 to the power x squared is equal to the log of 42. The reason I do this is so that my exponent can come out in front. So x squared comes out in front, and then I have log of 6 equals log of 42. Now I want to divide by log of 6 because I'm solving for x squared. So I get x squared equals log of 42 divided by log of 6. That ends up being 2.0860. 
Okay, but that's x squared. I want x. So from here, I have to take a square root. So I end up with x equals 1.4443 once I take the square root. Remember that if you take the square root, you get a positive and a negative answer. So that's how I get my two solutions to be plus or minus 1.4443. So that should have been pretty similar to examples 2 and 3. If you made any mistakes, that's okay. Hopefully we now see what they are. If you have any questions, please make sure you bring them to class tomorrow. Now you will notice in all of these examples we used common logs. So I didn't write a base in, so we understood that that base was 10. The reason we use log base 10 is because that's what's on our calculator. Well, that can be kind of limiting. Um, if, I, if I can only use log base 10, well, what happens when the base isn't 10? What if the base is 5? What if the base is 7? What if the base is 13? How am I going to do that on my calculator? Well, that brings us to the change of base formula. So the change of base formula says if I have log base a of n, where a is just some positive number, that's the same as log base b of n over log base b of a. Generally, we take b to be 10. So generally, we're going to take a log where the base is not 10, and we're going to break it up in ter terms of two logs that are base 10. So let's look at the last two. The first one is log base 3 of 7. Now, I don't have any way of putting this in my calculator right now because my calculator does not do log base 3. It only does log base 10. So I'm going to break this up into two other logs. This becomes log base 10 of 7 over log base 10 of 3 using the change of base formula. Generally, we don't write that log base 10, though. Generally, we write this as log of 7 over log of 3. And then that's what I punched into my calculator. Remember to end the parentheses after both the 7 and the 3. And this turns out to be 1.7712. And that's it. The argument is always what goes in the numerator. So 7, the argument, that's what went into the numerator. The base, 3, is what goes into the denominator. And then you just have to make sure you pick the same new base. So my new base that I chose was 10. I kept it the same in the numerator as in the denominator. This last problem is the one for you to do. So if you pause the video and try this one on your own, you need to show a setup, like I did here, and an answer. The answer will be revealed in class tomorrow. You will not receive credit unless you have completed this problem. Good luck. Going back to our trivia question, the abbreviation for O'Hare Airport is ORD. Why is that? Before it was named O'Hare Airport, the airport was called Orchard Airport. Then it was named O'Hare after Butch O'Hare, who was the first U.S. Navy fighter ace of World War II and was awarded the Medal of Honor in 1942. He was shot down in combat near the Gilbert Islands on the 26th of November in 1943, but his body was never recovered. So the airport was originally Orchard Airport, but then it changed names to honor uh, Butch O'Hare. So hopefully that was interesting. When you come to class tomorrow, please make sure you have the last problem completed. See you tomorrow.